Hello everybody, in this video demo, I would like to show how we can do basic illustration using the 2D curves that were brought into Photoshop. Okay, let's start. Okay, as mentioned, um, the layer 1 should not be touched, so I'm going to name it as reference. Okay, and I'm going to create a layer above it, okay, and call it a main. Okay, so I'll use the layer 1 to uh, get my selection. So going to the magic wand, I'm selecting this and I will do an inverse selection to select this region. And I, I have to make sure that I'm not filling it in the reference. And I also click on the main and do my filling of the colors. Okay, I want to fill using the gradient tool. Okay, so I did a fill. And then I maybe I feel that um, there must there should be some kind of a brighter region over here for a better shading. So uh, I'm going to create a new layer and I will do a bit of shading over here. Okay, um, we can do that by using the the brush and I want to set it to a white. Okay. So I'm setting to a new layer and let's set the brush uh, a bit big, okay? So let's say I want to... You know, okay, create some kind of brush stroke over here. And you can also use the eraser to erase off the region that you uh, do not want, okay? So let's say I want to erase of a certain part over here okay maybe yeah this is maybe what 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 uh, is close to what I want okay so okay so that's uh, how you can like create uh, some kind of a uh, effect and the good thing about doing on a layer is that we can use the opacity to control the shading so I want to I don't want it to be so bright so I can do it something like, like that okay okay uh, next I want to create like some kind of uh, shading around the, the edge okay um, I can do so by creating a new layer and this layer will be uh, for highlights. Okay, so um, I'm going to contract this, okay, to let's say uh, 45, okay, and then I do a border. To create a, a border around it, so I set it to 50, and then I want to soften this thing. Okay, so to soften, we can use the feather. Okay, feather, feather to 12, and if you want to have a better feel of your shade, your painting work, you might want to hide the selection edge. Okay, and let's uh use the brush tool to, to paint this area okay so you can see I'm painting like a highlight over here and this part should be a bit darker and I want to create a new layer for the shadow and use this other thing to, to paint it okay yeah so uh, these are like some of the ways to uh, bring out the, 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 the form the look of the form Okay, if you want to stronger highlight, you can you know, do it on a separate layer to enhance like maybe this this area here. Okay, and okay, so uh, maybe now um, 
I want to create like a screen over here, a simple screen. Okay, so I'm um, going to create a new layer and uh, call it screen. Okay, and going to a reference, I want to yeah make a screen over here. I want to shrink shrink this and make it a little bit smaller. Better go to a screen layer. Okay, and go to um, make it smaller using the contract okay so maybe yeah so maybe this is where i want the screen to be and then i can use the gradient again okay maybe i should set it to a black first okay Okay, some something like that. Okay, so this will be the basic screen look. Okay, um, and then I want to like create like a rim around it, so I can um use the the border again. Okay, so create just create a tiny tiny border. So let's say uh maybe ten will do. Okay, so a tiny border around there and. Let's hide it so we can see better. Hide the edge, okay? So now, um, use the brush again. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, we create this and okay. So this will be like a basic screen, okay? And then we need to have uh, like a uh, this thing being recessed in. So I'm going to uh, create a new layer and. Let's deselect first, okay. So going to the reference, okay, and I want to create a depression over there. So let's do the the border again, okay. So uh, this time maybe a border of uh, twenty five, okay, and then um, give it a soft edge, okay. So we can use feather. And yeah, feather of 20, and then uh, let's uh, hide these edges so we can see our work better. And as the light is coming from here, this part should be dark. So, oh, sorry, you shouldn't be doing in the reference. Okay, so there's uh, something you be aware of. Let's create a new layer and do it in that new layer. Okay, so yeah, I can see over here. Yeah, we, we created like something like that. And this part should be a bit bright, okay? So let's create another new layer and it should be bright, okay? Okay, now I want to use shading to bring out the form better. I'm going to create a new layer and do the shading inside that layer. Let's zoom up. Pressing Alt, I zoom up using the print brush. I want to create some shading over there ok 
Okay, I want to erase off some of the areas that are too dark. Yeah, basically I want to get this uh, detail over here. Okay, I'm going to do the same for the other side. But this time using uh, the black instead. Okay, I think uh, more or less there. Okay, now I'm going to create some details over here. Go back to the reference. Okay, very importantly, I must uh, create a new layer and do the detail on the new layer. Let's do a border. Let's give it a feather. Okay, now uh, let's hide the selection so that we can get the form better. So it's uh, somewhere around here. And this part should be a bit brighter. part should be bright okay and then here should be a uh, dark one as well this part maybe you can have it be brighter Okay, I think I got the form more or less. Maybe uh, just erase off for more subtle detail. Okay. Okay, and we can use the opacity to control the detail. We don't need to be too uh, overpowering. So I think something like that will, will do. Okay, yeah. So that we can see the, the form. The detail of the form. Okay, now I'm going to do an outer rim. Do a border, this time a small border will do. And paint it. Okay, with that, I think I come to the end of uh, this demo. See you around. Bye.